And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Brain Box. These are a set of games. Each of them comes in, well, a cube, a Brain Box. And they all play pretty much exactly the same way. They're kind of like uh, the things where, uh, when you were a kid, these would be in a book, so it'd be like, look at this page for 30 seconds, then turn the page and answer questions about it. If you know what I'm talking about when I just said that, then you pretty much know exactly what these games are. The point of these games, though, is, is that they're more than just fun and silliness, although silly cartoon artwork, but that, that they actually teach you something. Let's take a look. All right, so we look at these boxes. Each of these boxes comes uh, the bottom of the box is a magnet. Basically, it works like this. You can see it. Then the whole thing comes off, and all the cards fit in here, and you have a timer, and an eight-sided die, except for the senior one. The senior moments one, which only has a six-sided die. Now, what you're going to do, if you're playing a one-person game, well, then it's pretty boring, and I'm not even going to talk about that. Basically, it's not, never mind. That's boring. But, if you're playing a multiplayer game, what will happen is you will look at this picture here. All right, so here we have bubbly lungs. This is from the blood and guts one, and I'm going to give you time to look at not this picture, a different one, because you've been looking at this one, and that would be not fair. So I'm going to turn over the timer, and you'll have time to look at the next one. Ready? Here we go. Timer started. So go ahead and look at this picture. Do, 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 do. Time's up. All right. Now, we're going to turn it over. Now, you see these questions here in the back? I'm going to roll a die, and you have to say, eight. Hey, is the girl wearing a blouse with a red or white collar? Hmm. Do you remember? Do you remember? All right. Final answers. Let's turn it over. She had a white collar. Now, that's basically the way the game works. You're going to take a look at each of these pictures on here, uh, and... Then you hand the card to someone else after the time's up, which is a very quick amount of time. You roll a die, and then you have to answer the question. If you're right, you keep the card, and whoever has the most cards wins. So basically, we're here looking at what these sets are. There are many different sets of this. This blood and guts one is essentially things that are inside your body. It's all biological, crazy cells and broken bones, the great egg race, mega mind, your voice box, etc. Then we have the... Uh, the historical one, Horrible Histories. All right, this one has talks about basically bad things that happened in history. Cleopatra, mummification, the Romans versus the Britons, Roman baths, dangerous Rome, Emperor Nero, a lot of Roman stuff, obviously. And they have different, you know, there's humor involved in these, and but also very historical things. Then we have the horrible, um, I'm sorry, the horrible histories, vile villains. In this one, and this one, I'm, I'm, you know, I was looking on this. It says eight and over on these. I'm not so sure. They're really gory. I mean, the it, it has things very. You know, I don't know if you want to... The, the pictures can be gory. It can talk about gross stuff on it. Sometimes it doesn't look that 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 gross on the picture. But what it, it tells you on there can be pretty... Almost, you know, over the top. But there's a lot of different uh, things on here. That will show you and you learn about all these just terrible people throughout history. So anyhow, that's that one. Finally... We have the last one, which is the Senior Moments one. Now, these are a little bit different. What these do are they show you pictures of things. This is more like maybe from movies, or maybe this is uh, things from history. And there's only six questions on each one. And the, if you notice, the sixth one is, do you remember mods and rockets? Which should you prefer? It kind of has this... Do you, have you ever ridden on a moped? Would you now? This game is actually 50 plus. This is like a discussion, and you can have a discussion on it, which is kind of uh, kind of lame. But so that that's what these cards have on them. You know, where did you go to buy the latest fashions? I don't know. But the rest of them are what color is the man's belt? Same as the other ones. It's white. 
All right, let's talk about the gameplay first. Gameplay is pretty cool. I mean, those, those, I mean, you only have 10 seconds or so or less to look at this card. You don't have a long time, so you're looking at it, scanning everything, and then the one thing they ask you about is the one thing that's not there. So, you know, or the one thing you didn't look at. It's there, but you forgot to look at it. So that's okay. That's interesting, and I think people get a kick out of that. The artwork is well done, and it, there's a little bit of humor, and like I said, there's things that you actually learn. You know, you learn about these things. Horrible histories, you know, kids will get a kick out of that because they get to learn about all these weird and gross things in science and yeah, I don't really get the, the 50 plus one, but whatever. Now, that being said, I tell you, I was a little thrown off guard because I knew that these uh, games were games that kids would enjoy. It said 8 plus on that. And some of the cards, as I was going through them and pointing them out, giving the next card to the player, I looked at them and said, Oh my, you know, they were, some of them were very graphically detailed, talking about cutting parts of the body off and selling them to other parts and just some really gross stuff and the kids were a little surprised and these are our desensitized current 21st century kids. Um, ah, so I don't, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, per se, you just got to realize that going in. I mean, it's little kids might have been traumatized by this. Eight plus is really pushing the limits, especially on the vile villains ones. The other ones aren't so bad, and they really do teach you things. They're like, oh, I never knew this. Well, that's actually a historical fact, kid, or a scientific fact. So I think these are interesting games. I think they, I think these would work really well in classrooms. I could see them being in a history classroom or a science classroom, and with uh, a good push for them to have that educational flair, they'll work. They uh, store very well, good quality. Whether you want to get one, it's up to you. Just uh, be careful with these these vile villains. They're 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 gross. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door.